For those of you that know me, you know that I, uh, you know, I say Modern Warfare 3 sucks, garbage game, don't have fun playing it. And, well, all that is true. Last night I actually had fun. Uh, Cameron and I, I'll put a link to Cameron in the description to his YouTube channel if you want to check him out. But last night Cameron and I were actually, you know, we sat down. We were just having a good time playing some, uh, playing some Modern Warfare 3. And I was pretty much running the same class setup on all my guns, except for I had changed out the guns. And uh, here's an AK, and I don't think I've ever actually used the AK. I got the red, dites, rod, red dot sight on it. I try to add the red dot sight to any gun I use. My kill streaks are also, um, oh, I think there's some lag there. Uh, I think there is some lag in this game. I'm not really sure though, I can't remember. Um, anyhow, I use the red dot sight on all my uh, guns. I don't know, I like having the accuracy of a red dot sight. Some, in Modern Warfare 3, some of the iron, oh my god, I was so sad. I was bitching actually, because uh, he, look at this, look at this. Just taps me with the thing and I fall out the window. Anyhow, um, the red dot sight on the game, on the gun is, uh, it helps me shoot better. Now on the AK, I'm not a big fan of it because it has, the AK has quite a lot of recoil, or at least I thought so, but apparently it doesn't, so I don't know. Everything I thought was wrong. Anyhow, um, I'm running Scavenger, and the reason why I'm running Scavenger is because in Black Ops 2, I'm preparing myself for Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 2, Slide of Hand is um, a gun attachment, and to be honest, I won't be using it. There are a lot better attachments that I'll be using instead of Slide Um, I forget what it's called. I should know this. I'm a beast. Anyhow, um, besides using the attachment for Slide of Hand, oh my gun. So I decided that I would actually start playing and uh, avoid using sleight of hand, you know, at, at all costs, because sleight of hand changes up everything. It lets you reload faster, and, and obviously that's what sleight of hand is. But I don't want to get, you know, I want to, I don't want to get used to sleight of hand now. So I'm gonna switch to scavenger. I'm gonna get used to, you know, reloading slow and all that stuff. That way in Black Ops 2, I'm like, oh my god, I reload so slow, because you know, in Black Ops 2, I'm like, oh, okay, it's like normal. So that's one thing. Hardline, I'm running, look at this. This guy was lagging out. He was just stuck on the stairs. Anyhow, Hardline. Now I'm using Hardline for a few reasons. One, because I don't want to get used to using Quick Draw. Because Quick Draw lets you, what does Quick Draw do? Quick Draw gives you aim down sights on Modern Warfare 3. However, on, on Black Ops 2, it doesn't do that. It only lets you, it's only the main version of Quick Draw, which is switching the grenades and all that stuff. So I don't want to get used to that either. Um, now, there is a perk in Black Ops 2, which I probably should have remembered what it's called, and I do not, and I and I apologize. Uh, but there is a perk that lets you hear the enemy footsteps louder. So I was like, all right, I'll put on Sit Rep Pro. Sit Rep Pro in Mono 3 is amazing. There's so many times I, I got owned. There's so many times that I was just like, oh my god, there's a guy coming around the corner. Yeah. Now I do have kick on this, and I probably should have gone without using any attachments. Usually I just use uh, attachments, except for I didn't have another attachment for the AK, so I used kick. Um, but, you know, you want to, if I were you, I would say get used to using perks that are not in mono, uh, in Black Ops 2. That way you do better, because if you're if you're still using guns, a sleight of hand, and quick draw, aiming down sights faster, once Black Ops 2 comes, you're not going to be at a disadvantage, I guess. But you're going to be used to the stuff in Modern Warfare 3 that you probably won't be using in Black Ops 2 because there's a lot of other good stuff to use. So, uh, so yeah, and I also have Hardline on so I can get my kill streaks uh, faster. And now I probably won't be using Hardline in Black Ops 2, but in Black Ops 2, everything you do gives you uh, points to towards your next kill streak. Um, getting assists now in Modern Warfare 3, since I have Hardline Pro, every two assists equal a kill. But in Black Ops 2, every assist equals towards your next score streak. Everything you do, capturing flags, getting assists, throwing grenades, getting grenade assists, everything. And that's pretty cool. So the only way to kind of replicate that is on uh, with is on with mm, the Hardline on Modern Warfare 3. So I put that on. And then my kill streaks, I didn't really care. Um, I was I was usually in Black Ops 2. I'll probably be use UAV and counter UAV a lot. And the reason why is you'll get 10 points for every kill if you have a UAV up every kill that your teammate gets so if you're a type of person that's not the greatest at getting kills but your teammates are like bosses I guess throw on UAV uh, when you're helping out your teammate you're gonna get so many points so many points um there's a video the guy calls in a UAV and counter UAV and he's getting 20 points per kill because there's a UAV up and a counter UAV up and his team gets like four kills so right there's 80 points that's amazing. Now in Black Ops 2, uh, kill sh score streaks are actually by points now. Um, 
I, I mentioned them before, so if you check back, there'll be a link in the description to a playlist of all my Black Ops 2 gameplay. But if you check back in there, um, you can see how much, uh, at least the stuff they were using. Like, I believe a UAV is 375 points. I mean, if you have count UAV on, get three kills and a few assists and stuff like that. You know, it's just, it's going to add up really quick. And that's why uh, I'm getting used with the, the hardline. Again, hardline doesn't give it to me for everything, but uh, every two assists will count as a kill. And, uh, and and it's kind of equal because I'll get more hardline, you know, I'll get more assists in Black Ops 2, but the score streaks are actually a lot more. So it, it kind of averages out. But with this class setup, Scavenger, uh, Scavenger, what's my second one? Scavenger. Sit rep pro. What's my second one? I, I just oh hard luck. Durr. Wow, I'm dumb. Sorry, had a my brain disappeared for a second. Anyhow, so scavenger hardline and sit rep pro is an amazing class, and I did good pretty much all night. Cameron and I were just playing. Again, link to Cameron in the description. Check him out. He actually uploaded a gameplay of him going 22 and three. I actually went 22 in one game uh, in one in that gameplay. So you'll see me in there as well. And uh, we'll probably do a dual com over those gameplays as well. Not sure. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Look, the guy that I killed, I think, left. Is it? There he goes. Anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You know, get practice in Modern Warfare 3 on Black Ops 2. That way you're a beast. And uh, I'll see you guys later.